Thank you to the Democratic Party for holding this event. Both David Curtis and Governor Phil Hoff represent the heart and soul of what being a Democrat is all about. Fighting for justice beyond oneself, seeing issues before others realize how important they are, and working to make our world a better place. It is great that we are honoring Terry Anderson and Joey Donovan for their incredible work for the Democratic Party and Vermonters across the state as they represent exactly those values. Thank you for your lifetime of dedication to these issues and the Democratic Party. I also want to thank you all for attending this virtual event and supporting the Democratic Party. Now let me be blunt, the election in November is the most important election of our lifetime. At the national level, it is clear we must vote Joe Biden and Kamala Harris into the White House. At the federal level, we must vote in strong Democrats like Peter Welsh, who will fight for Vermont values. And at the state level, the legislators and leaders that Vermonters vote into office in November will be on the front lines of building our economy out of this pandemic. I'm here today to ask you and all Vermonters to support me to be Vermont's next governor. In this moment, it is so important to recognize everything that Vermonters have done to keep themselves, their families, and their communities safe. But as we look forward to the choice in November, we must also recognize that now, more than ever, Vermonters need leadership that will provide support, guidance, and direction as we rebuild. Many Vermonters are struggling. They're not earning enough to feed their families, cannot find affordable housing, and are concerned about how and where they will find a job. As a farmer and small business owner, I understand what it is like to work every day to address the issues right in front of me. And there is a lot of immediate work to continue to do on COVID. But as a farmer, I also know that I have a responsibility to build the soil and plan for the pests, the weather, and the other challenges that are inevitably to come. In government, that means passing the legislation that will build a stronger economy, stronger schools, and stronger communities coming out of this current crisis, as well as tackling the issues of today. It is not enough to simply react in the moment. In farming or in government, we have to plan and build in resiliency for the future. We must make sure all workers are paid enough to meet their basic needs and that our unemployed Vermonters will not be denied help for weeks on end when they need it most. Vermonters deserve clear and consistent guidance for schools and teachers that put safety and education before economic convenience. And we can't allow our state colleges to be shut down. They play a vital role in our communities and to so many young Vermonters. It was the Democratic majorities in the House and Senate that saved our state colleges when the governor essentially shrugged his shoulders and said they might be a casualty of COVID. Democrats said no. We can rebuild our rural economy by expanding broadband across the state and by creating good paying jobs that help us address the climate crisis and reduce the energy burden on struggling and fixed income Vermonters. COVID-19 has shown us universal access to testing and treatment as possible. Now we need to work to ensure all Vermonters have access to health care all of the time. And now is the time to tackle racial justice issues head on to make sure that every Vermonter who lives here and those hoping to move here know they are welcome, respected, included, and safe. I look forward to building a Vermont for the future by working with Vermonters, our Democratic legislature, our federal delegation, and the Biden and Harris administration. Thank you again to the Democratic Party and all of you. Please join me and my campaign at ZuckermanForVT.com to volunteer, get involved, donate, and share your ideas. Together, we can win in November. Thank you.